Hi Wim fans, so today we're going to be checking out Can you cook low and slow on your baby Q? So what we'll do is dive straight into it. And don't forget everything you use in the video today, there are links in the description below for the best place to get your Weber products. Make sure you check those out at the end of this video. Right, so in today's video we're going to be checking out whether you can cook low and slow on your baby Q. You can do this on the Weber Q and you can do it on the family Q, but the baby Q is a little bit of a struggle because you've got so little space and you want to keep that temperature right down for your low and slow. So today we're going to be cooking a blade roast and you need to keep this at around 100 degrees Celsius and cook it nice and slow. So before we jump in and start preparing that roast, there's a few things you're going to need and first you're going to need some disposable pans and we're going to top these up with some water and you're going to need the Weber rotisserie system. So we'll get the queue set up and then we'll jump in and start preparing the roast. We're going to be making a traditional barbecue rub. All the ingredients will be in the description below. So make sure you check those out. So we're gonna need three quarters of a cup of brown sugar. We're gonna need one tablespoon of garlic powder. We need one tablespoon of chili powder. One tablespoon of allspice. One tablespoon of paprika. One tablespoon of cumin. Two tablespoons of coarse salt and one tablespoon of finely ground fresh pepper. Now we'll just get this mixed together. So now that's mixed and we're ready to season our meat with it. Right, so start off with our blade roast. We've put it on the rotisserie and we're gonna try and cook this low and slow on the baby Q. Now what I've done is I've trimmed most of the fat off the top and I've got some homemade rub. I will put the recipe for the rub in the description below. So we're just gonna coat this with the homemade rub. Let that sit at room temperature now for around 40 minutes and then we'll get it on low and slow. Right, so our roast has come off and it smells divine. We're gonna let that rest for around 15 minutes. We're gonna carve it up and then we'll give it a bit of a taste test.
And don't forget everything you use in the video today, there are links in the description below for the best place to get your Weber products. Make sure you check those out at the end of this video. So you see that blade roast turned out absolutely beautiful. It was nice and tender and moist. And just having that water pan made a difference. Especially having the rotisserie system, it opens up a world of cooking recipes and you can do low and slow on your baby queue as you've seen. Now having those water pans in keeps that moisture in that meat and it can keep it at around 100 degrees C, works really well, and you'll get the most moist, tender beef roast you've ever tasted. So again, those are new to the channel, if you find you're getting value out of this content, the contemplate showing your support by slapping that subscribe button, it's absolutely free. Ding that bell for notifications so you don't miss any upcoming episodes. Give us a big thumbs up and comment down below. I will reply to the comment, and if you like what you comment, I'll pin it to the video. So what we'll do is cut to any bloopers, and I'll catch you in the next one.